It's going to make me get a lump in my throat. <laughs> we don't have to. Can I have some um, Vicks Vapor Rub? Vicks Vapor Rub. No, that's the that story. Uh, she lived on the premises in a, in a, a little caravan out the back. Uh, and so she was kind of a prisoner in, in her own way. And I think Carol tried to get herself into that role so deeply. In, in all sorts of ways, in, in ways where she wasn't acting, she was being part of it. And that building, Studio B, is a big cavern. And I can tell you this, because one drunken night I was <laughs> Uh, in that studio alone. Uh, it was about 11.30 at night and you might think that a studio with only the house lights on, like the exit lights and some <coughs> other lights up in the grid, would be silent. But it isn't. Because when the, the heat of the lights start to cool, the grid has a life of its own and it makes all sorts of noises when the metal contracts. And even though I was drunk at the time, I, uh, I, I distinctly remember that. Now this particular night, Carol uh, this was her last studio night, and she'd been downstairs in the tunnel, which you may be familiar with, but um, that was where the audiences used to be let in at one end, and they could go along the tunnel, up a flight of stairs, and into Studio A. Or they could continue on, and up another flight of stairs, and into Studio B. So, to... There was no green room at that stage to go in. This was a temporary measure because we had no idea that this show was going to last more than 13 episodes. Um, so that was petitioned off. So makeup, wardrobe, and everybody of the cast gathered down stairs in this tunnel. And uh, there'd been a bit of cel celebration going on um, because of Carol's last night and uh, she'd had partaken of a few drops from the old cardboard handbag that we, <laughs> <laughs> we were very familiar with and uh, she came upstairs after we were, we'd finished and wrapped. And there was only two people in the studio at that time. And one of them was Paul Covington, who was a, a very, very good audio operator, who lost his life at sea with uh, uh, Gary McFarlane and Simon Hellings, who you may have noticed on the Prisoner cast as both cameraman and director. That's another story for another time. But anyway, when Carol came up, she was alone. And she walked into the studio, and both Paul and I were tidying up cables and doing all the dirty stuff that has to get done at the end of the, the day. And Carol was probably just living back her brief time on prisoner and remembering the lots of memories that there were and she said to to us uh, do you guys want to go down the Burvale Hotel which was only down the road and have a drink 
and say goodbye. And both Paul and I, this was a Thursday night, we knew that we had to be back in the studio again Friday morning. So we said, well, thanks, Carol, but no, we, we ought to get home. Probably to have a drink. <laughs> we got there. But anyway, um, so we, we basically left Carol to her own devices in the studio, just yeah. on her own. Uh, that's the last time I ever saw Carol in the flesh again. But she was a lovely lady and she, she fulfilled what she had to do and left an indelible mark on prisoner with only 22 weeks, I think, just a very brief moment. But she made an impact. Well.